Hello everyone, Prescooter here, and welcome back to Let's Play Nights into Dreams. Last time, we we took care of Claris' first stage. I'm pretty sure her name was Claris. I don't know, I, I try names, I fail. And this time, we're going to move into Elliot's first stage. Now, there is no difference between Claris and Elliot. I believe, I'm, I hope I'm saying their, their names right. I'm going to feel really bad if I'm not. There's really no difference in between playing as Claris and playing as Elliot. Seeing as they both move at the same speed, they both jump the same height, and you don't want to play as either for more than like five seconds for fear of clock interception. So, let's go ahead and make friends with knights once again. Hi, knights. No, actually, I never mentioned it last time, but knights is very much. Knight, Knights is it's just a oh, sorry dude. Knights is a 2D game. Also, be careful how you approach these water fonts. They can push you into the background. Which I think that's the game's intention, but I refuse to accept its reality. Anyway. Sorry, dude. I'm not going to go in there. Well, let's go ahead and explore the background of this stage, huh? Um, explore the background of this stage. There we go. So there's going to be... So as we start getting deeper into this game, after, after like starting around these first few couple of stages, it's going to start getting to the point where everything is going to be... There we go. It's going to start getting to the point where everything is going to be very much... There's going to be a lot of transformations, and some of them kind of awkward transformations, but there's going to be a few transformations we'll have to go through. Like the fish pop, like the fish transformation, as you saw there for just a second. Oh, hello. Hi, small creature. I'll birth you into this world. Oh, he grabs stuff. Thank you. Aren't you a nice bee? And I failed the combo already. Sorry, Birdie. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm just kind of... At this point, I actually started going through levels really quick. Oh, this thing! Boop! Missed it. That, that would be a lot of really easy night, or, or night orbs. So is that. It's all about exploring. You gotta remember to explore. Explore, have fun. Like I said, like I said in the first episode, very much a feel-good game. It's not meant to be super difficult for the most part, but it's very much a feel-good game. So, so give me as much of these as I can get. Give me yours. So even though this is very much a 2D game, yep, even though this is very much a 2D style game, you can still influence things in the background by doing loops. Oh god. <laughs> Ah, nope. Okay, slow down. Okay. Now go through it sideways. Don't touch a thing. There we go. And let's finish this. So yeah, a lot of these episodes are probably actually going to be pretty short in, in retrospect. Or a lot of these episodes of this game are gonna probably going to be, like I said, fairly short in retrospect, but eh, whatever. It's a feel-good game. It doesn't have to be super complicated. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I was saying before. Even though it is very much a 2D style game, you can very much influence... You can very much... Um, what is it? You can influence everything in the background by just doing simple loops. Everything works in the three in a three-dimensional sphere when you do that that loop there and I okay like this yep and I kind of do and I guess I'm spinning more cuz it gets you actually does get you speed points speed bonuses but you also have very low control over yourself when you're doing the whole speed boosty thing I only have 10 so I'm gonna leave you be for now oh yeah the water segments oh I actually have a lot of control over myself here awesome oh let's screw that up
There we go. Oh god. Get the stuff! Oh, I should've gotten more... Bobbles. I need more bop bop. I'm kind of... I kind of got auto guided there in those last four minutes. <laughs> or those last four seconds. But now that I got all I need, I'm just gonna go ahead and split out. Jerk! Go away. It's gonna go straight into the nightmare core. There we go. There we go. And I'm rewarded for point with points for nothing. Let's go ahead and go through this as fast as we can, get more points. And I'm missing every single set of points I could possibly get. There we go. There's that done. And now, with this, we move on to onward towards the boss. Ah, only see, huh? Yeah, I know I'm bad at this game. Oh, you, right. Um, so this boss is a little awkward. It's a, it's actually, if you believe it, it is actually a trajectory boss. You actually have to grab her and try and bounce her through scenery and push her towards the very back of this opera hall, not and not the other way. It's not a very hard boss, but come here. Yeah, it's not a very hard boss, obviously. Uh, give me your, give me yourself. But yeah, it's not a super hard boss, but it's just getting a little difficult getting used to trajectories and whatnot. It's gonna be fun visiting a lot of these bosses. Cause for a reason, I remember this being my favorite boss because it just dealt with bouncing things all over the room. Oh, 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 we're done. <laughs> Look at that point multiplier. We did a thing. And how did I do overall? Eh, yeah, see, I'll take it. The affection. I forgot there's achievements in this in this copy of the game in this version of the game. My bad. Anyway, yeah, I guess that was actually kind of an awkward thing because. They have Amy up on this list, but because I never played Sonic CD, I never knew who Amy was, because until the Sega Dreamcast came out, Amy only appeared in one game, Sonic CD. Anyway, enough Sega lore for a bit. We're actually going to go ahead? Yep, defeat the boss as quickly as possible. Once again, being told this. But I think with that, we're going to go ahead and end it off here. So everyone, I do want to thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Nights into Dreams. And I hope you tune in next time when we'll go from Elliot's next stage and we'll actually go over to Claris's next stage. I'll see you folks then.